a no, surprise? Talking. Yeah. He's talking to it's a producer. surprise. It's a surprise for you, though. Uh oh. Did you open it? On the S drive? Yep. Under M for morning show. And do you see 2018? Baby, go do it. No, she got it. You got it? You see it, girl. Do you see what I'm looking for? Okay, load it up. Click it. Double click it. Let it load up. Tell me when uh-uh, it's loaded up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You doing something special? You got it? Okay, push it up. Pull it up. Cut the bed down. And play that. Go ahead. Keep it down and moving forward. Yep. Keep it loud and moving We forward. can't bring her in here without doing it right. ATL, what? Forward. Keep it loud and moving forward. It's a new mayor in Atlanta. It's Keisha Lance Bottom. Keisha Lance Bottom. Keisha Lance Bottom. It's a new mayor in Atlanta. Keisha Lance Bottom. 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 Competition, Keisha really from Atlanta. Heard the haters saying she ain't really from Atlanta. What the heck you mean she ain't really from Atlanta? Doug High alumni, she really from Atlanta. Fast forward, now she married her husband, Derek Bottom. Got four wonderful children and received lots of honors. Committed to community and making Atlanta flourish. And recognized by all of her peers for public service. Keisha is a member of the state bar of Georgia. Mana Cool Light of Delta City. I'm a theta sorority. I place my bet on Keisha. Yeah, she what this city needs. Got endorsed by former mayor Kasim Reed. It's a new mayor in Atlanta. Tell him, Wanda. Keisha Lance Bottoms. Keisha Lance Bottoms. Keisha Lance Bottoms. There's a new man in the ATL. Keisha Lance Bottoms. What? She's in the building. <laughs> hey. Girl, I've been for all the a smile to my face. I haven't uh, heard that in a long see, time. They have, to, they have to make it real. Good morning, shouty. <laughs> Our mayor is in the building. How Hello. are you? I am good. I have not heard that song since just after the election. Wow. So that was nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> congratulations. Yes. Well, congratulations to you. Well, thank you. Thank you. We're, we're happy to be back together. I know. You know, we renewed our vows. <laughs> Right, right in time for Valentine's Day. I know, exactly. I tell you, there ain't nothing out there for you in those streets. So. Uh, ain't nothing uh, out there in the streets. Say it again. Tell them again. Ain't nothing out there. Nobody gonna treat you like I treat you. That's right. right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she is in the studio. Our mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, is yes. here. The phones are wide open if you want to call into the show. 404 741 WVEE. It is Valentine's Day. So um, before we go into our first break, I got to ask you. What plans do you and the husband have tonight? Our plans will include whatever is happening at my house tonight. We have been married for, let me not get in trouble. It will be 24 years okay. wow. this year. So uh, Valentine's Day for us is highly overrated. <laughs> you just get right How in. How about that? I mean, you know, we thankfully get to go out to eat, so we don't have to do it on Valentine's Day. There you go. Do you cook any? On Valentine's no, Day? Just period. <laughs> no, just period. I do cook. I okay, cook. Okay. Uh, yes. okay. I love to cook. I love to bake. Okay. So, What's your specialty? Uh, pound cake, sweet potato pies. Uh, I do a really good, I think it's good, whipping cream, pound cake, and fish and grits. That's really? what I'm talking about. Oh, we coming to your house. Fried crispy fish. You do fish and grits? Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, I'm coming over your yes. place. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> That's and, what I'm uh, talking about. <laughs> lamb. Nice. I, I, I cook a lot. I Do like you? Cook. Good. That's all right. See, I know I liked her. I know, right? She, she gets down to cook. business. I'm a Southern girl, so, you know, if I, I don't know how to cook, then I need to have my credentials snatched. There you go. So, listen, um, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break and come back. I want to talk a little bit about the city, but then I want to talk about you. Oh. Like, I, I, I get my sit down now. Yes, this is exciting. <laughs> Teacher Lance Bottoms is with us, ladies and gentlemen. Our phone number is 404-741-WVEE. Black Girl Magic. Let's go, ATL. Frank and Wanda in the morning, V103. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is in the studio. Yes, she is. And uh, Wanda, you wanted to tell her your experience because oh she God. talked about the inauguration <laughs> so much. You know, it was definitely one of the best speeches I've ever heard in my life. 
I sat there. Um, first of all, it was cold. And I left my coat in the car, and I didn't care. And they were like, oh, we don't know. The fire marshals that came, and as soon as we got there, they had shut the building down. I was like, no, but hello? Let me in. Like, I mean, I begged them to let me in. So I got in. I got a really good seat. And let me just tell you, I felt so warm inside as you, you know, you gave your speech and you talked about being from Atlanta and what it felt like to be an African-American woman and to be able to have this power and all the great things that you were going to do and for women and, you know, your nephew, it just, you know, some things that happened to him and you just, everything was just so warm. And I want to just tell you thank you so much because I left there feeling great wow, and seriously. wanting to be more to Atlanta than I am. And I know I do a lot of things, but sister, you push me to want to do so much more in the city, especially for African-American women, women in general. But I want to do so many things and talk to them. And that black girl magic. Oh, my God. It's everlasting. So thank you for just starting off with a great, 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 great start. I appreciate your saying that. Yes. You're making me very emotional. So thank you for You're sharing welcome. that. welcome. And I'll tell you, Wanda, that day, I didn't recognize my voice. Mm. That was a God moment. Mm. I did not recognize the voice that was coming out of my body. So, oh, my God. Um, you know, I put God before me with yes. this race and everything that I do. And so I'm just grateful that he used me as a vessel to relay that. And thank you for being there. Very welcome. Very welcome. It, it was uh, it was an amazing run. Yes. We, we got to sit on a couple uh, panels together <laughs> and, and debates. <laughs> and I just saw this leader begin to emerge as you started mm -hmm. going through the process. Mm -hmm. So as you've gotten in office and you've been in there a uh, couple months now, what is, in your opinion, the biggest surprise for you? Actually, it hasn't been a couple of months yet. So the um, it's just been over 30 days. It feels like a lifetime. But the biggest surprise really has been how comfortable I am in this space and the ability to be still because I haven't had a chance to be still in a long time. And the other thing I share with my husband, I've forgotten what being happy felt like. Because the last year was such a brutal, yeah, nasty mm -hmm. year, right. all day, every day, and it's like if someone is sick and then they're better, and you, they forgotten what it felt like to be well. Mm. I've forgotten what happiness felt like. Right. So I'm just I'm grateful to be on the other side, but it really, just the the ability to be still and think. I haven't had a chance to do that in a very, very long time. And I have to be very intentional about it even now because everything's happening at such a fast pace. Right. But I put it in the context. If you think of a presidential inauguration, there's 60 days, November to January. Met with the mayor of New Orleans. Their election was in October. Their mayor comes in in April. Wow. Six months. We had less than three weeks. So we went wow. from election in November runoff in December, less than three weeks for transition and inauguration. And so it's governing while everybody, transitioning while everybody is watching. But um, there's a, a peace and a stillness that I have that I just, I know it's the grace of God and I can't wow. say that enough. So, Amen. and things are happening very fast. So we've done some exciting things in still under two months yeah and i'm just excited about all that's to come let me take one call go to one of the callers v103 good morning good morning yes go right ahead with your question or your comment hey mayor bottoms how are you this morning <laughs> i'm good how are you hold on i need I'm you to great. pick up i need you to pick up your phone because you got a little bit of echo okay sorry about that let me Okay, is that better? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot better. Go yeah, ahead. His house phone. Okay, so Mayor Bottom, um, I know that um, coming after, um, coming in after such a successful term from Mayor Reed, you know he did a lot of great things, and I like your spirit. I like what you're doing, also. So I was, I have two um, quick questions for you. First, um, what are your plans for embracing the the community as a whole and kind of becoming that beloved mayor? like former mayors of cities like New York City, by like becoming that mayor of the people. And I know you already have a large support group, you know, and I know some of them, but I was wondering, you know, what plans do you have to become that mayor that everyone 
like stand in tears every time you know they see or hear your name. All right. And question number two: What is uh, what plans do you have to promote um, young black mayor, males in this city? Because there's a lot of talk about girl power and black girl power and magic <laughs> and stuff like that. But I feel like the men. Especially young men in our communities are kind of being left behind and not enough attention is being given to them to promote them and show them how to have some black boy magic. All right. Thank you for your call, brother. All right, Mayor. (laughs) How are you going to be the mayor of the people? (laughs) I I love it. I'm in a form. I had to write these questions down. So... (laughs) Just in terms of being a mayor for the people, I think the way that you do that, for me anyway, is just being authentic and leading in a way that's true to who I am. And if the accolades come, that's fine. That will follow. But it's not something that I seek. What I want to have happen is that long after I'm gone, the work that we do on behalf of the city will last and it will have generational impact. So I think there are several things um, which we've already started Mm -hmm. doing. One was the commitment to removing cash bail bonds um, in the city of Atlanta, meaning that if you are poor, you will not stay in jail simply because you are poor. If you don't have money to pay to get out of jail, um, you know, if you are a nonviolent offender, then you will essentially get a ticket and have the ability to come back to court. What I realized, people were very surprised that we moved that through quickly, but it was a commitment and I didn't see any reason to wait on it. Um, Also, there's a a whole committee that's helping me with our progressive agenda, the things that impact our community, whether it be criminal justice reform, whether it be affordable housing, jobs, education. So I have a whole group of folk who are giving me their thoughts on where we need to go with that and how we align as a city. And then as it relates to young black men, obviously I'm a I'm a woman. So I speak about black girl magic because I know what that is. I know what it feels like. But I am a mother to four, three of whom are boys. Yes. And I know that this means nothing if our boys aren't whole. So I think as we talk about what we will do in terms of education in the city, yeah. opportunities in the city, I think the natural trickle down will be to everyone in our community. But so much of it has to do with our children seeing something better than their circumstances. All right. And that really is what our responsibility is as leaders. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Our mayor is here. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is in the studio. We're taking your calls at 404-741-WVEE. Got a question for you. How has it been picking a transition team? You know, picking the chairs for the transition team was the easy part. And my chairs are Vicki Palmer, a former yep. um, executive at Coca-Cola Enterprises. Love her. She's wonderful. Yeah, she's and, she's the bomb. Yes. And um, Larry Gellerstead, okay. CEO of Cousins Property. So that part was easy. But then there was the part about getting the larger team in place. But I'm very grateful. There were so many people who weren't necessarily supporters during the election, um, but who care about the future of the city. So we made 38 ask and we got 38 yeses. Wow. And nice. you all probably know, I mean, I have some heavy hitters, the head of Delta, mm-hmm. uh, head of UPS and TI and Killer Mike. So yeah. we really have an array of people who are helping with the transition. And the caller asked earlier just about, you know, being authentic. And we talked about what you do for the community. And that was part of the reason it was so important for me to have T.I. and Killer Mike at the table because who better reflects and has their ear to the ground in terms of what our community needs, what our community wants, and able to give a voice to it. And they have not um, had any issues with keeping their mouth shut. So All right. it's just wonderful, the visual, seeing T.I. in the same room as the CEO from Delta. And, yeah. you know, the visual really is Atlanta. You know, I was going to ask you this question. If you could, if you could close your eyes and paint a brush, what would you like to see downtown Atlanta look like? I would like for downtown. Because that has been a challenge. <laughs> for you for a long time. Not just for me. <laughs> for every mayor that's come. Something that's been nice. like the challenge. Know, right? What would you like to see happen? One, I'd like to see it clean. 
And I would really like to see it as a place that's vibrant, not just with tourists, but with everyday folk who I, I, I talk about my grandparents a lot. My grandmother and mm-hmm. grandfather used to call it Uptown. And um, my grandmother would come uptown and she would go grocery shopping right right there on Marietta Street. And um, and she would go to Kessler's and Little Five Points. And it was a destination place, not just if you worked here, but it was a place that people could come and be a part of and they could feel safe. And that's what I'd like to see with downtown. I'd like for it to be clean. I'd like for it to be vibrant. I'd like for it to have energy. And also, as we talk about what we're doing with our homeless brothers and sisters, yeah, I'd like, I'd like to take a brush and not see people having to live on our streets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Making sure that we are being a compassionate city and that we're offering services to break the cycle of homelessness that we have in this city. Let's go to the phones. V103, good morning. Morning. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, go right ahead with your question or comment. Uh, My name's Jamal Newman. I was born and raised in Atlanta. My question is, what are we going to do about all this air pollution? We had the busiest airport in America. These jets putting off all these pollutants in the air, killing us. They cutting down the trees. Like, What are we going to do to get air? How are we going to breathe? I like that. Aww. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. And um, I talked about my four kids, and all of my kids are asthmatic. Yeah. And so, so there is this, and if you go into Hugh Spaulding at any given time, you will see so many children in there. Um, have from suffering from asthma attacks and then distress. So part of what we've been doing as a, as a city is we have an office of resilience and we have a lot of support from the Rockefeller right. Foundation and it deals with these issues that impact our communities. But what I've said for quite some time is you have to give people reason to care. So when we're talking about sustainability mm. and resilience, People may not understand that, but they do understand that children can't breathe. Mm. And part of it, I think, especially as it relates to African-American communities, is about education. What can we do to combat pollutants? So there's a whole organization, a whole work going on on the West Side where people are working to clean up Proctor Creek. And they're talking about pollution in their neighborhood Mm. in a way that you don't normally see African-Americans engage. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm going to give a shout out to Tony Torrance, who comes down to City Hall all of the time. And he's talking about this environmental injustice. And I think we have to educate people, speak about it in terms that it impacts their neighborhoods, but also do something about it. So if there are pollutants that you can see and feel in your neighborhood, you have to let us know because it may be something that we can address. But overall, it really is about taking action at a local level because we can't look to the federal government to even help us with quality standards. Wanda? Okay, so can we have a little fun? Absolutely. Can we? You want to do something first and then I have a a few questions for her okay so you have something oh, yeah we, we, we have we have a couple gifts for you yes okay yeah we can't get through valentine's without <laughs> since i don't expect a gift from my husband uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> so, exactly this is for you from wanda and i oh, yeah some, yeah, some yeah. traditional yeah. valentine's yes. there yes okay. and this is from us as well a box of candy and oh. of course a stuffed animal. How about that? Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. Okay, so I have a quick. Wait, I have wait, a couple. Not done yet. Not done. Okay, no. okay, 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 okay. You yeah. got something else? Okay. Yeah, I, I got the gift for you and the hubby. All right, cool. It, it's coming. In. I had to hide it real quick. Okay, come on. I yeah. love it. And and I'm, you know, I don't want to get in trouble because I'm sure he's not expecting anything from me. Either. Okay, that's so. okay. <laughs> so tonight, when you're at home and you're just relaxing, I have a, a beautiful bottle of wine for you. Mm. And it's one of my favorite, and um, I think you're really going to like it. Oh, well, thank oh you. the bottle is nice. Look how you. Oh, oh that's a Oh, that's how you're supposed to hand it off? Bottle. <laughs> I saw that formation. <laughs> Well, thank you it's, so much. Yeah. Oh, it, I appreciate it. It's a Grenache it. nice. Syrah Rose. Mm. Yeah. That's how you pronounce that. All right. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> coat this rose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But there you go, Wanda. Okay, okay, so something fun. Just answer either either or, okay? This or that. Blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. Popeyes or churches? Popeyes. Up or down? Up. Rap or R&B? Hurry up. R&B. <laughs> <laughs> Boxers or briefs? 
briefs. Okay. Lights on, lights off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> and last question. You spoke about fish and grits. Do you like sugar in your grits or salt and pepper? Sugar. Hey. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms <laughs> is our guest. Thank you for coming in, and we'll see you next month, right? Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank Black you so much. Magic. And always use us as a resource, okay? Absolutely. Thank we you. always got your back. Call us for anything. It's the People Station V103.